It's raining again. You know it rained us to my fire. It messes it up. I wish I could just go to some place that was completely dry. Like a desert? Oh, a desert would probably be perfect. There's probably little to no precipitation there. And oh, there's camels. Those are alpacas, Gus, not camels. What? Alpacas? My parents lied to me? Have they lied about everything? <gasps> no, 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 Gus. Uh, we can talk about this later. Let's just learn about deserts. Huh? Can I still get a camel? A desert is an area that gets less than 10 inches of precipitation per year. But what is precipitation? And believe it or not, precipitation isn't just rain. It can be drizzle, rain, snow, snow pellets, ice crystals, or even hail. In every desert or arid area, which means dry, there is very little rainfall or moisture. However, if rainfall happens, it usually does with really strong downpours that can lead to flash flooding in that area. Hey, guess what? Deserts can be found on all seven continents. All deserts and semi-deserts together make up over 30% of our Earth's land area. And places covered in ice or snow are sometimes called cold deserts, opposed to hot deserts, which are in warmer areas. You might not think a desert would be a very good place to live, but over one billion people live in desert areas. Actually, both people and animals live there. In fact, only rainforests have more kinds of life. We should probably tell them about rainforests. We have a video all about it. We'll link it in the description below. Many animals that live in deserts are nocturnal, and this means they are only active at night. And these animals have also adapted to survive without much water. Kind of like a camel, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Actually, you're right, Gus. A camel can last for days without food and water. And just as well, Desert plants have thick, padded leaves that help them save water when it doesn't rain through a drought. And this is while other plants grow super long roots to get water from deep inside the earth. Mesquite grass has tiny leaves that curl up during the day to conserve the water they have. And some desert plants will only sprout and bloom when it rains. Many of the desert plants live to be well over 100. They live longer than humans do. Hey, guess what? Did you know that some deserts can get as hot as 120 degrees Fahrenheit during the day and then drop to zero degrees Fahrenheit at nighttime? And there are cold deserts that may be covered with snow or ice, but some are so dry that the ice actually just flows away from it. A tundra is a cold desert that has a short season of above freezing temperatures. An ice cap is a cold desert that stays below freezing for the entire year. Polar deserts are cold deserts that can be found close to the North and South Poles. Other areas of the world have cold deserts too, especially high altitude regions like the Himalayas. And these are called montane deserts. There are also hot and dry deserts that stay warm all year round and roasting hot during the summer. And when it does rain, it happens in short bursts. Sometimes, this rain doesn't even reach the ground. There are also coastal deserts, which have cool winters and nice long summers that are nice and warm. 
Icy deserts get very hot during summer, but freezing cold in the winter and get very little snow or rain. They are found in mountainous regions of the world. The Atacama Desert is the driest desert in the world. This desert is in South America and actually has no records of ever getting any rain. And the Atacama Desert was created and caused by a cold ocean current. Hey, guess what? Believe it or not, did you know that Antarctica is the world's largest cold desert? Did you know that the snow never melts in the desert of Antarctica? And besides being the largest ice desert in the world, it is also very close to the size of Russia. It spreads across 5,339,500 573 square miles. That is huge. The Antarctic Desert is also the coldest desert in the world. In the Antarctic Desert's average winter temperature is negative 49 degrees and the lowest temperature ever were recorded at negative 94.7 degrees and negative 92.9 degrees. That is cold. Believe it or not, there is hardly any precipitation in Antarctica. Even a rare snowfall transforms into a hard, icy surface there. And then we then have the hottest desert on Earth, and that is the Sahara Desert located in Northern Africa. The Sahara Desert stretches across 12 different countries located in Africa. There are lots of sand dunes there. Some of them are as tall as 500 feet. And do you know what that even means? What? That's taller than the Statue of Liberty. What? <laughs> In some areas of the Sahara Desert, people have lived for hundreds of years, especially along the Nile River because of the water. The Arabian Desert is the second largest hot desert on our planet, but it is much smaller than the Sahara, and it's located in the Middle East. And then in Yukon, Canada, you can find the tiniest desert in the world. It is only one square mile and called the Car Cross Desert. Even though deserts cover about 30% of our planet, they are threatened by overuse of water and climate change. They are also in danger due to rising temperatures, wildfires, droughts, dust, and sandstorms, which can lead to desertification. That's a weird word. Desertification means fertile soil that has become too dry and barren, and nothing can grow there. Well, hey, guess what? Now we all know more about deserts. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to smash that thumbs up button. It really helps out our channel. It sure does. Make sure you subscribe. Bye. Bye.